Kitchen. Date, April 12, 1944. Deceased, Robin Barnes, housewife. Witness, Fred Barnes, her husband. I went downtown at four o'clock to run an errand for my wife. After about an hour and a half, I came back and found the outside door to the kitchen locked. It was popped open when I left. I knocked and called but got no answer. I tried the front door, but it was also locked. I went to the kitchen window, which was closed and locked. I looked in and saw her lying on the floor. I called the police, who forced open the kitchen door. The deceased housewife is supine on a well-worn kitchen floor, a towel in her left hand. Next to her lies a tray for ice cubes from an opened refrigerator freezer. The oven door is open, showing what appears to be bread. I'm going with challah, freshly baked with a golden crust. An island table holds a yellow mixing bowl with dough remnants, a rolling pin, a measuring spoon, a spice jar, and a cutting board. There's a large cooking pot in the sink with its matching lid on the left. Potatoes are partially peeled on the right. An ironing board holds the iron and some sort of linen. A laundry basket is nearby. Through the window, there's laundry hanging on a line. A chair sits next to one door with neatly folded towels or sheets with a knife sitting on top. A pile of torn or crumpled newspapers leans against the chair. And the door jams appear to be stuffed with newspaper. Across the room, the other door also has newspaper stuffed around the door jams. So what happened? There's a lot of typical household things going on. Food is cooking, laundry is being ironed, clothes are drying out back. It seems the only strange things about the scene are the doors with the newspaper and that knife in plain view next to the pile of newspaper. It is in a kitchen. Is the knife really out of place? If you look a little closer, you can sort of see a smudgy rectangle in front of the refrigerator under the housewife's head. What used to be there? Was it a rug? Or did another piece of furniture once sit there? Was a rug removed or was the kitchen rearranged? And was it done post-mortem? Or does it have nothing at all to do with the scene? On the table, the tablecloth is slightly askew. Did someone escape out that window and mess up the tablecloth on the way out? Or is this a case of carbon monoxide poisoning, either self-inflicted or perhaps by someone else? 